So far in ASP.NET, while working with the ASP.NET web pages, we used to add different kind of controls into it. But we can also customize the functionality of the predefined controls to an extent by working with the user control. For example, if there is a file upload control in which I just get a browse button but not the upload button. If I want, I can just use a couple of controls such as file upload and a button to get a combined control as a file uploader. So this is what we call a user control. So it will be behaving means any user control which we will create would be having at the rate control directive like so far we have already seen the page directive master directive in master pages here we will discuss about the control directive which will be on the top of the html part after that we can just put some number of controls and in the c sharp we will write the code as similar as we used to work in a normal html page so basically this user control will be treated as a small web page only which will which can be rendered in a normal web page as well it will be having extension called dot ascx and whenever you will create the custom control it will not be having any standard html tags why because on a particular page where these controls will be rendered they will already be having the html tags so we can simply just add them in a page and then can start working on it so let's see a practical implementation of how to work with the user control so for implementing the user control what i'll have to do first of all i'll come to the solution explorer and here i'll add a new item and that item is going to be a web user control so as you can see the extension out here is dot ascx so i'll change the name of this as file uploader though we have a file upload control but here we'll do some customizations onto that and let's say add so here you can see the control directive is here in the top as we used to have the master directive in the master page page directive in the web pages here we have the control directive so control language c sharp auto even wire up true code file and inherits similar attributes which we used to see in the page directive now coming to design we can actually start designing this particular control for that i'll come to the toolbox we'll add one file upload control and one button i'll change the default text of the button to upload and now this will be the combined control means as soon as i will add the file uploader in my web page i'll get this file upload control along with this upload button and as soon as a user will click the button i'm just defining what the functionality of that particular button so what i'll do i'll just say string path is equal to server dot map path and inside this by default i will upload the path inside the root directory and after that file upload one dot save as path plus the actual file name so for that file upload one dot file name so let's save this build this so that the changes will get reflected properly and since it succeeded now what i'll do i'll just come to my index.aspx and here i will add the file uploader.ascx so as you can see here it is like a complete control as such so let's execute this one so here i'll click on choose file I'll choose this PDF and then I'll click on upload. So let's go and check the solution explorer whether I got the file or not. Here I'll come and refresh and I'll see that okay I got this file. Alright so now let's delete this one. We'll do this operation again in a better way. Like by default when I upload the file it will be there in the root directory. But if I want to put the particular uploaded file in a particular directory as here in the solution explorer we can see we have a folder called data and whenever a user will upload something I want that it should go inside the data folder so what I'll do is 
I will simply say string file loc the variable name private and for this I will create a public property public string file location and we'll put a couple of accessors like get and set so get return file lock and here set file lock is equal to value so basically it will be a directory path it will be a directory name and after that when I will be using this particular file location I will require a slash to separate the directory name with the file name so for that I will just concatenate the slash when I will return means when I will when a user will get the value so now inside this what I'll do I'll just concatenate the file location but in case if user has not passed anything means any name in the file location then in that case it will be like a double slash like tilde slash and then again slash alright so here what you can say return file lock is equal to blank it's a ternary operator that I am going to use if it's a blank then return a blank else if it's not blank return the file location along with the concatenation of slash alright so now it is logical so let's save this let's uh, build them build the website so let's come back to index.aspx and re-add the file uploader.aspx and now when I'll come to the properties of this particular control here I can see a file location property so if you want you can set the file location means the directory name here or at the runtime so file uploader one dot file location is equal to data that's the name of the folder now let's execute this and here when I'll choose this PDF and will upload this it will get uploaded and let's check let's refresh this folder and inside data now you can see the file is uploaded similarly you can just make your logic and you can create create as many as properties and method for a particular control as you want